My name is Mark Sargent. Uh, I have a wife and a son, 18-year-old son Joshua, and a 15-year-old daughter Tara. For a long time, I felt like that if anything was going to get done in my life, or in my wife's life, or in my kid's life especially, um, that I needed to do it, that I needed to take control and make sure that things got done. Part of it has to do with, you know, 11 years spent in the military, um, you know, kind of the, the whole military uh, ideal of do as I say. The same type of behavior that I had with my kids as far as not making them feel like they could do anything right carried over into my relationship with my wife. We ended up being separated for a while, having some struggles with our marriage, um, and uh, it was a really painful time in my life. It's kind of uh, odd how I started coming back to church here. Shortly thereafter, I met Randall. He immediately said, you need to come to celebrate recovery, and that's where I've been ever since. And one thing that I've found uh, attending Celebrate Recovery is um, you're not alone. And, and that brings a huge sense of peace uh, in and of itself, because I think a lot of men, we're, we're generally pretty prideful, and so we don't like talking about things, and we think that we're the only one that are experiencing these certain things. So when you're able to share and everything, and once you've kind of been there and experienced some certain things, you can kind of, you know, relate to other people and say, I've been there, and these are the things that I've tried that helped me. The biggest truth for me has been that, you know, all along, I, I, uh, that, that the Lord has a plan for me. I don't know what it is, but um, I don't have to know what it is because I know whatever it is in the end, everything's going to be okay in my life. I exchange my control for God's control. I don't, I don't have to worry about um, things that other people are doing because I know God will take care of it. In May of 2008, um, as things were progressing, my wife and I were still separated, as things were progressing, at that point we weren't really sure where. My wife needed some help um, because she had to un undergo some surgery. Um, I moved back home at the time and doing the right thing, which was taking care of my wife and, and taking care of my kids and just being the man that I was always supposed to be, uh, we fell in love again. And, you know, things have been progressing ever since. I moved back home, I stayed back home. I mean, once I, I stopped trying to control the relationship um, and manipulating it, um, things worked out between us. Um, we started being able to communicate a lot easier. We started understanding each other a lot more, uh, loving each other a lot more. There was a point in time where I didn't really believe my marriage would survive, but I had the faith that no matter what happened, that I was gonna be okay, because God was not going to um, let me down. He didn't, you know, my marriage is restored. And, and, and my family is. So I think that the biggest thing is that people have to have hope that God's plan is the right plan, no matter what that is.